consciousness for those people who have had DBS, um, you know, they're, they're, you know, have everything post-surgically healed and they're in the rehabilitation process. How do people know that they are not kind of at an optimal setting, their stimulation setting? Maybe they're overstimulated or not stimulated enough. Maybe an overview of how to identify when that's going on. Absolutely. So the goal normally, again, of DBS, right, is to get better management of your symptoms, but ideally also reduce medications. Um, at least that's normally the aim, to reduce that off-cycling phase. So one, if you're having less off-cycling, that's a good thing. If you're still having that same amount of off-cycling once you've had DBS, there may be an issue either with not enough stimulation, not good basically medication management, maybe you're not having enough frequency or not enough of that medication to get you through and have less highs and lows as far as symptom control. Um, so that's one just kind of easy way. As far as side effects of if it's not working enough versus working maybe a little too much, um, I'll call it, we frequently hear, I feel overstimulated, kind of like you're wired, you just had a shot of espresso right before bed. That might be a feeling of overstimulation. Maybe you just turn yourself down a little bit and you'd be good. Um, the other component, a big one normally is dyskinesia. So dyskinesia is that uncontrolled kind of movement. It looks like you're almost dancing. It can be in your neck, leg, arm, even whole trunk. Um, that tends to be the most common side effect of overstimulation and over medication. Because again, when you're trying to do this, here's your medication, here's your DBS, it's electronic medication. So as I'm increasing this, ideally, I should be able to decrease my medication. That's what we're playing with. It's that perfect cocktail of the two. And especially early on, sometimes you get a lot of these fluctuations. Um, as far as under stimulation, it tends to be your, your typical symptoms that you get. Rigidity, your tremor returns, um, maybe even cognitive slowing. That tends to be, I think, a little bit more lack of dopamine uh, pharmaceutically. So using Levodopa, using Rotari, um, again, that can go into a different talk as far as the cognitive component with dopamine. Um, but that is something you want to look out for because you need to have that perfect mix of the two.